All right, in the last video, we talked about variables. You can see some basic examples. I stored all this information in the variable Bob. And then as soon as I typed in Bob, I got back all of uh, Bob's information. Just a quick thing I wanna say before I continue. If any of you are having problems downloading and installing this Python stuff that I've shown you, if you're on Windows or Mac or any other uh, system, I wanna show you a quick, uh, I wanna really quickly show you a website where you can get all of this information or you can pretty much do everything we've been doing right on here. The website is called trinket.io, okay? And uh, here's how it works. So on the right hand side, you can see that if I run all of this code, it draws all of that stuff, okay? And they have a bunch of great examples for you guys to try out. So you can go to Python and you can discover a bunch of great examples that you can do, okay? So for example, you can look at this example here and maybe get an idea of how to make some really cool shapes using the turtle module in Python. Okay, so let's stop their code and let's start ours. So if I do import turtle here and I do uh, my turtle or you know, you can call it really whatever you want. You can call it my John if you want uh, is equal to turtle dot turtle. And if I say my John dot forward 100 and I run this uh, invalid object has no, okay, I misspelled turtle here, run it. And you can see that it draws a turtle going forward. Now let me bring back their code and let's do it. So for example, where it says black here, let's write uh, blue. Okay, pen color, background color that is. So you see, we changed the background color. So that's a good way to see what this stuff is doing. You can change this color to orange maybe and see what that does. Okay, so the first turtle that gets drawn is actually being drawn by an orange color. Okay, so great place to come and try out stuff. Okay, trinket.io. Now, back going back to learning about strings. So let's go over here and strings is literally uh, the exact thing that you type. Okay. So let's say I wanted to say hello world. If I did print hello world, I would get back an error and the error would say invalid syntax. I don't know what you mean. So let's try to type it in the Python three way where you have to put a parentheses after print because print is something called a function, which we will cover later. So let's try hello like this and hit enter and you can see the error I get it says hmm name hello is not defined so it has no idea what you're talking about when you write hello here it's looking for the variable hello we have the variable Bob here we have the variable X but we never defined variable hello but you're like no that's not what I'm trying to tell it I'm trying to tell it to exactly like say hello not some variable hello that might have some uh, numbers in it or something like that, right? It's not like you're doing hello is equal to five and then printing out hello and it gives you five. Well, in the case, in this case, if you wanted to say exactly what you wanted to say, you have to use something called a string. So that just simply means putting that thing in quotes. So now Python goes, oh, you want me to say exactly hello like this and it'll say hello. Now let's say I wanted to say print hello world, right? If I do space here, it's just gonna give me an error. It's gonna be like a variable with a space in between a variable. I have no idea what you mean. So now if you put both of these in quotes, it'll go, oh, you want the string that literally says hello world exactly like that. I understand, I got you, let me do it for you. Okay, simple enough, cool. That's it for strings. I'm going to keep it really simple. I'll see you in the next video.